Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy Elliott. Today, I got a real treat for you. Number one, my boy right here is helping people in the automotive industry and real estate freaking kill it by using this Facebook tool. Now this thing's nasty. Number one, it was built by salespeople for salespeople, which is why I love it. Because I'm gonna tell you, when I was younger, um, well, my whole life, I've tried 19,000 CRMs. And I'm like, dude, who made this? Like, I'm a salesperson, right? And uh, it's these tech guys. And tech guys don't understand how my sales brain works. So as I'm trying to use it, like I'm getting confused. He's built a piece of tech that if you're an automotive or real estate, by the way, any industry, you need to listen up. But automotive and real estate, how you can dominate your backyard, crush it and kill it, generate more leads than ever. And dude, like not only sell more, but like have a piece of technology in your hands that by the touch of a button is so easy to use, it'll literally, it'll 10x your income. Check it out. With a God, I've been at it for a minute. Climbing to the top and this music was my ticket. Found a way to grind, turn a passion to a business, no limit. I'm gonna get All right, guys, it. Andy Elliott. I'm here today with my man with Shifley Auto. Listen to me. This is gonna be cool. I kind of asked him to tell a story a little bit. You know, I'm fascinated by the fact I'm 44 years old. It's taken me a long time to get to where I'm at. And the era that we're in at 2024, the time we're shooting this, how fast people can get up to speed with freaking having technology in their life. It's crazy. That's why I see all these young guys killing it. And I'm like, dude, this isn't fair. No, it is fair. Okay, because a lot of people are sitting around playing video games right now, and there's guys like you that are learning sales, learning tech, building things, not only helping your own life, but helping tons of other people. So I love it. I never endorse somebody that just isn't a savage, that doesn't have their heart in the right place, that can't help millions of people and kick ass, and this guy's going to help you make more money. So um, tell us who you are, tell us what's going on, where you're from, and let's kick some butt, man. Let's change some lives. Yeah, thanks for having me on, Andy. I just want to tell my story real quick. Let's do it. So I started in the sales industry three years ago watched your video, came across your video. I was going to college, man, and it just wasn't what I wanted to do. Started watching these videos from you on your sales training and how you can make 100K in the industry your first year in, right? I was hooked immediately. Mm -hmm. So, and I needed sales industry. I needed sales experience to go to, you know, what I wanted to do, which is business administration. So got in the industry, started watching your videos. And the one thing that you preached as soon as I started watching your videos was post to Facebook as soon as you get to the yeah. car lot, right? Mm -hmm. So immediately I started posting cars 20 to 30 a month was selling five to probably seven a month, just on those 30s that I listed on my lot each month. I was brand new into the industry, 18, got right out of high school, straight into the car sales, and immediately had success. And honestly, like sales training and Facebook alone were the two key success points that I had as soon as I got in the industry that really helped me excel. And I think that everybody just needs to, everybody deserves to know what it's like to be successful. And for me, I, I found that success immediately my first year in. You know, I think, listen, by the way, a lot of you underestimate the power of Facebook. You really do, right? Remember when I first started training, like when you got in, I was like, dude, I'm killing it. Remember, I was selling freaking 80 cars a month when I was younger. And I was like, dude, you guys got to get on this thing. But how many yep. people's like, oh, I tried it, don't work. And then you get on it and all of a sudden, just on cars you're selling on Facebook, you're selling more than most people are in the store. For sure. Right? So like the power of, of understanding technology and the power of, I think, being open-minded to learning something new. Amen to that. Important. The power of social media is crazy. I mean, as you've seen too, you have 1.4 million followers on Instagram now. Yeah. You get thousands of likes every day. People are watching you all day, right? But Facebook too, it's not only just posting cars, it's knowing where to post them. Mm. So Facebook groups, how to write descriptions, how to target the algorithm, how to use hashtags. And then most importantly, when you get these leads, how do you respond to them? I think that's a big reason why a lot of people, and I'm just going to be honest, like a, a lot of you, the reason why you check out and you don't use things is because you've tried something at some point and it didn't work. And that's why he's here. Listen, I need you to understand something. If I went to the gym every day and I didn't get results, I probably wouldn't go back. Okay. You probably wouldn't either. Like, dude, I ain't going to go back anymore. This sucks. But once you do it right one time, once you have a trainer come and they take you to the gym and you get results, you're like, dude, okay, I'm bit by the bug. Okay, I get this now. Like, I see that this is my way out. And so that's what happened to you. So um, so you built a piece of technology I want you to work your way into. But so you're, you're open-minded. You start learning this algorithm. You start learning these hashtags. You start learning how to write ad copy, right? Which a lot of people exactly. don't don't realize that the reason why people aren't attracted to what they're doing is because it's unattractive. And they don't understand that because they've never been successful with it. So they don't know what it li is like to be successful. You have and... Tell us about this this tool you created. Tell us how 
how how you started to create this this piece of yeah. technology that thousands of people across the world are using now. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments tell me that you need help. Do me a favor. I'm going to tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now. 918-210-0254. 918-210-0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. For sure. So when I first got in the industry, like I was saying, I was posting these cards to Facebook and I realized that I was only posting 30 and I had 80 to 90 on the, on the lot at a mm -hmm. time. So I needed to do two things, either hire somebody to do it for me or create a piece of technology that would allow me to I do hired this. people to do it for me because I didn't have a piece <laughs> of technology. Certainly. And technology is very, very hard to learn, right? Mm -hmm. Especially something like this because you can do it wrong. And I just want to say this first because there's some other companies out there, but if you don't if it doesn't look like you're posting as a human, Facebook will take you down. So you have to look like you like you are posting as a human being, which is what our technology does. Yeah, I was about to say that. Like once something seems automated, automatically what happens, it has no weight and it yep. kills it. So nothing happens. And you, to your human eye, you just think nothing's happening when really they've buried it. Absolutely. Like like their technology is pretty smart. They're like, no, nah, that's not real. You I mean, it's I mean? Facebook. It's the biggest company. It's the biggest social yeah, media they, platform out there. They know everything. Yeah, exactly. All so, right, keep going. I love that. But yeah, so I was selling, you know, five to seven off of these 30 cars that I was posting. And I need, I knew I needed to post more to be able to sell more cars. So instead of hiring somebody, I went down the route of hiring a developer to help me build out this tool, right? And once we did, I saw how powerful it was and knew that I needed to get out to as many people as possible because I knew the potential of this in salespeople's hands, how mm -hmm. many cars that they could sell, how mm -hmm. it could increase their numbers and they could find success in the industry like I did when I first got in. Can can dealers do business with you or is it mostly individuals? Absolutely. We have a few dealerships on our tool now. Okay. So, so a company can get the access to the tool for all their people, right? And then also salespeople can do it as well. Now, you're, you're heavy in automotive and I notice that right now you're blowing up in real estate too, right? Hey, Correct. by the way, if somebody's watching this and you're like, okay, what's this tool? What is it? Guys, there's a link below. It's very simple. You guys can click on it. And then literally you can sign up. You can use it. It is badass. I've used it. Thousands of people that I know are using it. They love it. And uh, it's going to help you make more money. And it's what I love is it's easy to use, right? Um, but let's, let's keep talking about the automotive part. And then let's switch over to also real estate. Is that cool? Sweet. All right. Yeah. So the automotive part, we've had now over, I mean, we've, we've had hundreds of different clients, right? And I want to say a few success stories of what they've seen, right? Because I think people need to know the power of this. Facts. So number one, we had this guy, Ryan, out of North Carolina. He signed up on a Saturday. He was posting vehicles between Saturday and Sunday. He came back to work on Monday and his dealership had a very good promotion going on where he would get $2,000 if he sold this one vehicle. He ended up selling that vehicle two days after signing up for our tool. Mm. Two it days after it's, it's simple. Yeah, I mean, in two days after that, on the Wednesday, he sold another vehicle, made a six hundred dollar commission. So within four days, three days on the tool, he made twenty six hundred bucks in one week. How much did he pay to sign up? He paid seven hundred and fifty bucks. So obviously, in two days, three days, the guy literally made two grand on top of the money that he spent. That's yeah, it's crazy. And by the way, listen, everybody, just write down sales. Okay, the way to get rich is sales and leadership. And if you can lead yourself. Like you need to understand the difference between poor people and rich people is resourcefulness. And this is a resource, right? Like, like you're giving them a resource to skyrocket their sales, right? That's right. How easy is this to use? How many buttons do they got to click? How does this happen? Like, like that's the questions I always ask is like, Absolutely. okay, like, like most sales people don't have a tech brain. So like how, how easy is this to use? Because if you can't use it, then most people get turned off, even if it works, right? It's like, this is complicated. So like, I know it's easy because I've, I've used it, but now t like tell everybody how easy it is to use. Yeah, we've got people that are 18 and up to 66 years old using this. That's how easy it is. It takes 60 seconds to post one car or one house if you're in real estate. It's literally three clicks of a button. Does it pull off the website that you use? Is that what it does? That's exactly what it does. So when you sign up, you, you plug in the website, you get everything yep. set up and then literally... Um, you can post as much as you want. How does that work? Exactly. You can. So let's just say you have 357 vehicles on your lot. You have access to post all 357 vehicles. There's no cap or no limit on how many you can post. That's crazy. So let's talk about some things that you said. You said no. no one of the things it does is that it, it, how many photos will it pull? As many as you want. Is there a set number? So Facebook allows, allows up to 20 per post. So okay. it'll it'll pull up to 20. 
up to 20. And then tell me about the description part and stuff like that. Yeah. It, 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 so it helps create um, an attractive description. Is that correct? So when when somebody signs up and they get onboarded, we send them some training on descriptions, mm. hashtags, groups to join, so, and then so how to respond to that's leads That's what I was well. going to ask. So it's not just going to Marketplace. You also teach them how to join all the groups, what jo- groups to join, exactly. um, how to find those groups, what to do when you're in them. And how to monetize. Is that right? Exactly. Because you can find success just posting to Marketplace. But once you narrow in the groups and figure out how to target the algorithm, how to use hashtags and how to use descriptions to push yourself out there, that's when you're really going to start to see the success. Yeah. I want to tell everybody just for my own own success. And I want to tell you guys this so you, you can understand this. Um, I was in a small town. I literally, this store sold 70 cars a month. Super small town. And my wife's like, um, cause we had two ups, right? We had two customers come in during this day and I sold both of them. And I was like, babe, there ain't no way in hell that I'm going to be able to make a lot of money at this lot, having two people walk in a day. Now, whether that was a slow day or not, it didn't matter. My wife goes, well, we need to figure out something. And at that point she went to social media. She started posting on Facebook. She goes, I'm going to, I'm going to post some stuff and I'm going to figure out how to get your phone to ring. At this point, I have no belief that social media is the way. I'm a face-to-face guy. I want the phone to ring. I want to walk into the service drive. I want to grab somebody. I physically am in the manual labor, hustle, grit, grind mode. Stand on the lot, freezing cold. I'm outside the door. You're not going to beat me. Dude, I'm a, I'm, I, number one, we're in 2024, okay? So this was even older than it is now. So it's even better now than it was then. My wife did what he's telling to do, but one by one, she would post them which would take all day. When you said 60 seconds to post, it took us 10 minutes to post one. Oh yeah. Easily. So you're posting 10 to one, right? So it's totally unfair. But I want to tell you something. I ended up selling 40 cars my first, first month, 50, then 60, then 70. I averaged 70 to 80 cars. The crazy thing is that store that was selling 70 cars a month went to selling 200 just because when the tide rises, all ships rise. So when I prove that a store that sells 70 can sell 70. And now as an individual, one person, I can sell 70. Like they're all like, holy shit, we can sell way more too. So they went crazy. So I really think that people underestimate stuff like this. It almost sounds too good to be true. When you tell people to post on Facebook, just like first time you start training with me and I'm like, you got to do this. You know, you got to do sales training. You got to have skill. And then also you got to get in front of people's eyes. You know, we always talk about everybody needs to know who you are, what you do, how great you are, what you do and where you're at. Do you want to rely on your dealership's traffic? Do you want to sit there waiting for the next person to come in and live and die by the gate or real estate agent live and die by the telephone? Or do you want hot in market leads reaching out to you and physically calling you, messaging you, DMing you and wanting to do business with you? You know, it's cool in the beginning when you get in sales, chasing people down, you know, like being on the offense, but you know, what's even cooler sitting there watching people, trying to chase people down and watching them just bring you all the business because people just pull in car after car or person after person asking for you because you have access to a tool like this. Exactly. And, and dude, it's a very powerful feeling. It's almost euphoric sitting there watching everybody hustle and grind and why they're all lost and confused. And I call them inside the tunnel. Like they're in the tunnel here. Like they don't know that we're in 2024 and it's an era of fucking technology. Exactly. And then, you know, here you are killing it, just sitting back, counting, counting money, because you know how to get out there and bring the market to you. That's exactly right. When you started posting, your Jacqueline started posting for you. Mm-hmm. How long ago was that? That was 2012. So yeah, social media was completely different back then. I mean, now totally. it's three times the amount. It was of people it was 2,800 buttons. Yeah. To get it through, <laughs> I mean, we didn't even know how to type, so it was like it was so weird uploading a picture. I couldn't figure out how to get it from the website over here. I was taking a picture of my deal. Dude, it was the most ghetto process in the world. And obviously, but but it still worked. But, and by the way, that still works today. It's just that now you can literally um, have a piece of technology that imports everything that with the push of the button, all of this happens. I want to go back to what he said. He said 360 cars, hypothetically, if you had them on the lot, you could post 360 cars today. That's 300 pieces of inventory with your name, your phone number, your information on it, their their ability to reach out to you, not your dealership, not your your house brokerage, right? Like not 
not not to you not, not i mean it goes to everything goes to you it drives traffic straight to your cell phone yeah this, essentially you're the bdc now yeah that's it man and this is the secret is to figure out how to understand what error we're in and then figure out how to get i, I call them hot in market leads because like the, there's no bait like the cars out there people that are interested in them reach out to you i want you to think about something real quick i'm gonna say this to every car salesman that's watching this if somebody was interested in a car that your dealership posted where would the lead go to the dealership and then hopefully you would have that dealership round robin a lead to you what if you got them all like what would it feel like if the dealerships gave you every lead you'd be rich that's you this said, right? that's this talk to us about the real estate stuff like like what do you see on the real estate side yeah, so we just came out with this not too long ago. So mm -hmm. it's been in the process for about two weeks now. Uh, live. That's awesome. And, and by so, the way, I want to say early adopters. If you're in real estate, yeah. oh, it's two weeks out. Dude, early adopters, I got into AI early. And I'm going to tell you this. Thank God I did because yep. I learned it faster than anybody. And I'm trying to tell some of you guys right now, early the early adopters win. Okay? Like, like when you first drop the tool out for the automotive, the people that signed up with you first made more money than everyone else. Most people sit back. They're not leaders or followers. So I just want to say like, just because you rolled this out, like early adopters win. It's, yeah, absolutely. it's the way it works. Absolutely. Yeah. So this tool just came out two weeks ago and essentially what it'll do is it'll pull listings from Zillow. Mm -hmm. A lot of agents will post them to their Facebook page or Facebook marketplace and it takes them like 15 minutes, just like the car industry. So we've made the same tool for real estate where they can pull it 60 seconds. It'll have the description on there that's on Zillow. It'll have the bedrooms, bathrooms, the price, mm. the pictures, literally everything to Facebook in 60 seconds. For this one, they can post it to the market pace or they can post it to their individual Facebook page as well. Mm. And then if they have any uh, reviews on Zillow and they want to transfer them over to their own personal website, we have the ability to do that as well. Scrape the reviews right off of Zillow and add it to their website just like that. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor. I'm going to tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now, 918-210-0254, 918-210-0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. I love that. Um, all right, so let's talk about some stuff um, with, with homes, brokerages, right? Like the mortgage, the mortgage offices. Um, so you're talking about pulling listings from Zillow, right? And then putting them straight on Facebook? Correct. Right? So you said websites. So would this be the mortgage, the, the, the broker, right? Their website, all the homes that they have. If I'm a listing agent, right, or whether I'm not, if I live in that, or if I'm in that that company, all those homes can get listed onto Facebook. Right. Correct. Okay. How many how many groups can it post to? Twenty per post. So per house, you can list into twenty groups. Good. So this tool, it'll take not only post it on Facebook Marketplace, it'll post it on their own personal Facebook place too. Correct. And then also can post up to twenty groups. Yep. Correct. Okay. Now you create created the training, right? Because a lot of people, when they get technology, they're like, okay, what do I do now? So you built training all inside of this that actually shows them like understanding like how to do it step by step, how to post it, like everything, right? Yep. Yeah, we have tutorials. And then like I said, we have in-depth training as well. Groups to join, how to join them, how to post them, what groups to join, descriptions, how to write them, what you want to say, why, they, why you want to use this, hashtags, why to use hashtags, how to use hashtags, what hashtags to use. Same thing with responding to leads. So we really pour into making sure that they understand that you're the right person for them. So how do you do that? You build urgency and then you also make sure that you appreciate them. You know that they're a human being and mm. thank them for reaching out. So we break all of that down in training. And then we also have a tutorial, an in-depth tutorial, how to set up the tool and how to use it. So super important guys. Right now, if you're in real estate, if you're in automotive, make sure, they click, make sure you click the link below. Get set up on this. Like this is no joke, okay? Like I tell people all the time, like one of the reasons why I'm successful is because I make fast decisions. Like, I want you to understand something. Everybody's like, oh, you got to think about it. Like, dude, I don't think about nothing. I know I have a gut instinct and I have a brain, which allows me to understand logic. Okay. If I can get a tool that can make me money, I ask real quick, is this ROI worth it? Well, if it's, I'm just giving an example. If it's 700 bucks and I'm just using a number here, what's the average commission that I'll get? If I sold one thing, what would that pay me? Well, we know if it's a home, it's way more than $700. 
But if we know if it's a car, well, then one car deal pretty much pays for it. It's very common sense. How many car deals can you get? Well, before you even built the tool out, you were selling anywhere from six to eight. Yep. You know, I was selling anywhere from the old days from 70 to 80 cars, and I wasn't even taking up. But I eat, sleep, and breathe on this. I learned going out and trying to shake people's hands and stuff, as cool as that was. I did that the first 10 years of my life. And once I realized that we can post something out there and people will call me and come to me, and I don't even have to chase anybody down. Well, now, instead of hunting, like on the lot, like a lion, like now I'm hunting the web. By the way, how many people are on a lot at a time? How many people are walking into um, a real estate office at a time? How many people are on the internet? Where is the entire world right now? They're all on their cell phone. People are driving down the road, they're on their cell phone. People are at dinner with their wives, they're on their cell phone. People are at work, they're on their cell phone. Okay, so are you inside their phone? Can they find you? Right now, currently, a lot of you, you can't be found. I have no idea who you are. I don't know how to find you. I don't know how where I would even start. By the way, do you think that people go to Facebook Marketplace? Do you think people go to Facebook groups? Do you think people are on Facebook? Shit, yeah. Okay, are you there? The answer is no, you're not. You may be there in one place, but you're not everywhere. What would it cost you to be everywhere? So I'm going to tell you what I paid. I paid about five grand a person and I had two people posting for me. Wow. So if his tool is a thousand bucks, I'm just giving an example. I paid $10,000 for two people to manually do everything that I could have saved nine grand and used your product for a thousand. Yeah. So our product is and, not a and people don't work like technology either because no. technology is always perfect and human beings aren't. It's just, but go ahead. But I just want to say like, <laughs> they were always misspelling, <laughs> doing something, putting the wrong pictures on sure. there. It was the it was the wrong year because everything was manually loaded. You know what I'm saying? So it's like it was a 2018 Ford F-150, but they put 2022 Ford F-150. I'm yeah. like, dude, you got to – because they were copying and pasting. You know what I mean? Yep. Yeah, the whole idea with this is to save them time too so mm. they can spend more time with their family because like Jackie was posting for you, right? Yeah. Which took time out of her day. Dude, she she hated me. She lived on a computer. But it was, it was the only way that we knew how to do it. You right. know what I mean? And by the way, I want to tell you something. I was a skeptic. And if I was watching this video now and I had never done what I had done and I didn't have a company right now and we didn't have a nine figure business and I didn't get 150 million views every 28 days on social media and I never got into this shit and I was just a normal salesperson and I was never exposed to social media. I'd probably be watching this right now and I'd say, I'd be like, next. You know Why? Because I have no idea. I love what he said. He goes, I believe that you deserve to know how successful you could become. When he said that, I'm like, dude, you do deserve to know. Okay. Well, you got to bet on yourself. You got to learn. Patrick bet David. I love what he said. I was watching this interview that he did the other day. He said, how life has been for a long time is that in five years, how a business person would have to learn five new skills, maybe 10 max. But how competitive life is now how much there is to learn, how many people are getting their edge in learning and self-developing because all that's out there. In the next 12 to 18 months, you'll have to learn a minimum of 15 new skills to stay in the top 1%. Okay, so we went five years, five skills, to now one year, 15 skills. Like, damn. So, like, if you're watching this right now, like, there's a skill. There you go. That, like, levels you up past someone else. Um, so, so talk to us about a little bit, you know, obviously like, how did you grow up? Like what, what, what made you be innovative? Like, I mean, you're still super young. What are you 21 years old? 21. That's correct. Yeah. So like you're super young. And by the way, I see, I always do my dad when I was young, I remember he goes, he goes, what's a millionaire look like? And I was like, like the guy on the news, like the news guy, that news anchor I'm thinking, cause that's what I thought famous people were. That's the people. Now you got kids getting rich. Now you got people that are 20 years old. You got people that are 50 years old. The, the key to getting rich, getting ahead is about technology. Technology allows you to make lateral leaps past everybody else. Like this is unfair, man. If I knew in 2012 that there would be some guy making a tool, right? That 10 years later could do everything that I was doing, that I didn't have to hire, didn't have to micromanage these people, didn't have to check in with them every 30 minutes to make sure they're doing their stuff and literally get better work for 
10% of what I was paying for them, I would have, I would have freaked out. I mean, honestly, because stuff like that didn't exist, but it exists in times right now. Right. Right. So, so that's one of the things like, so what made you innovative? Like, are your parents like super innovative? Like, you know, who did you learn this from? And it honestly was, I, I never really was innovative until I graduated high school and I got into the car industry. And it was really just your persona and your motivation, your drive that pushed into me. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. like when Did I, you make good grades in school? Like, like talk to us about like your life. Like, A's, B's, are your C's. parents are they they uh, are they together? My parents have been divorced since I was three or four years old. Okay, so who'd you live with? Your mom or your dad? I lived or with my mom mm -hmm. in Kansas my okay. whole entire life. So I was in a small town as well when I sold cars. Good, uh, three hundred thousand probably. So probably maybe a little bit bigger than yours. Yeah, but that's but that's good. So yeah. so number one, you're eighteen years old. You get in. What was the average guy selling cars when you got in? Eight to nine. I want you to listen to what he's saying. You know, I, I hear I have a lot of people that say, you know, how did how do you make that much money? Or how did you sell that many cars? And, you know, I was telling Brendan, we always say, you know, do you really want to know? Or like, are you just asking? Like, what's the difference mean? A lot of people will ask you how to be successful. Well, you tell them and they don't do anything about it. And that's why I say, do you really want to know? Like, basically, if you really want to know, I'm going to tell you how, but I'm going to expect that you execute whatever I tell you. I want to tell you something about learning. It is very heartbreaking to tell somebody how to be successful, to physically put a tool in their hand, to, when they're sinking, drowning, or out in the middle of the ocean, to bring a lifeboat by them and literally say, come swim over here and like, we'll take you to the the big place will keep right. you from drowning. And there's someone watching this right now and they're like, oh, you know, I don't know if that'll work, right? What made you believe that what I was telling you was gonna work for you that really made you to make a decision? Because number one, when you made that decision, you started investing in yourself, you started spending money on yourself. I didn't have a piece of technology to help you, right? But it, the sales training part. Now you're building the training part also inside of the technology. Right. Correct. So what would you say to some people that are watching this right now that are that are skeptical to believe that stuff like this works or maybe if they even have used another product and it didn't work? Yeah. So, number one, it's if you haven't ever invested in yourself, it's the courage to try something new and put yourself in a place where you can to excel. Right. Yeah. I'm so, going to tell you what he said. Make bold moves. Write exactly. that shit down. Make bold moves. He's telling you, dude, don't be a coward. Live a life that counts, and if you don't make bold moves, don't be surprised when nothing changes, right? Sometimes you have to borrow courage, and that's what Brendan hopped on the phone with me initially, and I didn't believe in myself. I was making six grand a month, and just by posting the cars myself, which is what I learned through you, right? And Brendan eventually, after an hour on the phone, gave me enough courage to invest in myself literally the next month after I made $11,000. So cool, so, so crazy. It's, it's all it is is the courage to try something new and what do you have to lose anyway? You know, mm -hmm. like you're saying, it's 10% of what you paid and you had such good results. You have to try something new to make new money. You need to adapt a new skill to make new money. Yeah, I tell people all the time, in order to get to your new life, you gotta give up your old one. What does that mean? Right now, a lot of people, they don't have technology integrated. I mean, think about how many real estate people right now. By the way, everybody, please write down self-investment. Okay, that means this, you will need to spend your own money on you. The other day I had a guy tell me, he goes, well, my dealership doesn't want to pay for it. I go, dude, who cashes the check? Who's taking the check home? And they're like, well, I am. I'm like, so they have to pay for you so you can take the check home? I wouldn't pay for you either. It's your check. It's your responsibility. It's your job to decide what you're worth. Your actions to invest in yourself, your actions to move forward and grab technology or sales or whatever it is that you need, resources that can help you, that is your job. That is not anyone else's job. It doesn't matter what anyone else thinks. When Brennan told you to do the training and that it's gonna work, you could have walked up to someone else and asked them, hey, what do you think about this? Dude, you had to decide, am I worth it? Yep. And by the way, I always say this, and you guys need to understand this, the greatest investment you'll ever make is yourself, period. ROI on yourself is a thousand percent. And number one, when you learn this technology, your brain will start spiraling. How can I own and dominate my backyard, right? Guys, right now, just take a map, put where you're at, put a hundred mile radius around you. 
what would it be worth to you to literally be able to dominate 100 miles in radius, either in real estate or an automotive around where you're at? where everybody would know who you are, what you do, how great you are at what you do and where you're at. How to set traps and hooks everywhere, right? Where people can buy the stuff that you have, find you, come to you, and then literally you're doing business with them. What, what would that be worth to you? Everything. But you don't need everything. It's just the technology. So it's simple to use. It uploads all their inventory. You can post as much inventory as you want. There's no limits talks to you, you teach hashtags, you teach how to write the ad copy, which obviously pulls them in. You teach, um, I would say, call to actions. Um, I think you also teach how to respond to the messages, right? Right. Can we talk about that for a minute? Like, yeah. Like, and then I think we, we, we finish on how to respond to the messages because even if you get a lead, you teach how to handle the lead once it comes in, right? Correct. Yeah, because a lot of sales guys, they don't, generally have an issue closing people when they're in front of them. Mm. They have a big problem getting them interested and in getting them in the door from social right. media. Um, but number one, I just want to go back. I know you said a hundred mile radius. I sold vehicles uh, when I was in K Wichita, Kansas, I mm. sold them from Missouri, mm. 250 miles away. Mm -hmm. So instead of that hundred mile radius, you need to expand that to like 250, 300. Good. I love that. And by so, the way, that's your tool. Like, exactly. like, and, and every time I see him guys, I want to tell you something. Why? we're on this podcast right now. And, and this is important to me is that number one, I don't drive traffic. That's what I call it. Driving traffic to anybody that I don't believe in. Number one, number two, anybody that doesn't do what they tell others to do. Remember that means they're not double. They're not double minded. They're not, they don't have double standards. Like if someone does what they're telling others to do, I can respect you. Okay. When I first met him, he goes, Andy, I'm building this tool. I saw the tool. I used the tool. It worked. Okay, I watched him sell a lot of cars off it, and then I watched him love it so much, he decided to start sharing it, and then everybody was fighting over it. I literally watched how he's perfected it. He's made it better every day, and then I've watched him shift in, you know, because it's so successful in automotive, now that he's shifting into real estate and automotive, and I'm just like, dude, like, this is crazy, and the fact is, is that he's making this better every day. It's easier for you to use. It's more money for you to make. And in 2024, I'm, I'm, I was telling my team this morning, if you want to make a new paycheck, you got to run a new play. Okay. How many of you guys right now, you're running the same old play from last year. You're literally wondering why you're not getting more results or one month you can make more money, but then the next month you don't. And I call that not having dependable success. I think this tool creates dependable success. I think this, cr this tool allows people to be consistent because you know how it is on the Facebook marketplace. You need to stay on there every day. You yep. can't, I mean, you can't be on there for a week and then you get too busy, you know, selling for two weeks and then go back for a week. You must own that place every day. I want everyone who's there to see everything you post, everything you're doing, not only on your own page, not only on Facebook marketplace, right? Which everywhere is where everyone is, but also in these hundreds of thousands or millions of people that are in these Facebook groups that align with what you're posting, right? Absolutely. Guys, what would it be worth to you if everybody knew your name? I'm going to ask you a question. Does your name stand out in a crowd? Does your face stand out in a crowd? Okay. This is a way right here when you do this, that literally people start knowing who you are. They start understanding how to reach out to you. You start to build your own personal brand, right? And then obviously you're known as the car guy. You know, what's so crazy. And it just made me think about this. But when you only post a couple cars, because it takes a minute, but your system allows me to post so many. Right. Or if you only post a couple houses and you can't post a ton, well, what happens is people don't reach out to you and go, dude, I've seen your stuff everywhere. I just want to see if you have one of these. See, what I learned is that when we were posting everywhere, which I'm sure you, you know this, when you post everywhere, people don't call and just try to buy that. They call and they say, I see your stuff everywhere. This is what I'm looking for. Do you have something like this? Exactly. Just because you're spraying the space and you're everywhere, like you're known as like the guru in that space. Yep. You're always the person there. So just a little bit of information. It's not always that people are buying that. It's that they're buying from you because you're everywhere. And then they see you as the authority. That's right. I it had a lot dangerous. of people reach out to me specifically because of that. Hey, dude, I see you posting on Marketplace all yes. the time. What do you guys have in this criteria? That's so that it. happened to me several times, and that's exactly right what you were saying too. And the only reason that you doubled your 
following in three months from 600,000 when I was last out here to 1.4 million now is because you were on there every day and, posting. And you know, dude, I want to say that and, and, and we'll finish with this. This is super important. Um, number one, if they want, if people want to follow you on Instagram, how do they follow you? Yeah. So it's my first and last name, Ethan Satkowski. Okay. How do you spell that? H-A-N-S-A-T-K-O-W-S-K-I. Okay. So, so guys go to Instagram. If you want to follow him, make sure if you want to reach out to him, you can send him a DM there. Um, I would tell you this number one, you're worth it. Your success is worth it. Um, your life's worth it. I think that every one of you right now, you have no idea what you're worth. And this is an opportunity for you right now to really increase your, your sales and, and just skyrocket them through the roof. The compound effect of how this works. When you are everywhere all the time, you eventually own the place. And so many people, they don't know how to be everywhere all the time, so they never own anything. Or, I ran into this, and that's why I had to hire people. I would be everywhere, right, all the time, but then I couldn't also be on the lot too, or I couldn't be also selling too and handling that. Right. This technology allows you to be everywhere at one time. It also allows what you sell to be everywhere at one time. And then the compound effect of people seeing what you have for sale, reaching out and buying it, and then people seeing what you have for sale and reaching out saying conversations like this, like, I see you everywhere. This is what I'm looking for, basically drives conversations your way, which, by the way, nobody sells anything without a conversation. So I think that this, right, this tool, is it, as exciting as it is when someone calls and goes, I saw that house, I, I want to come look at it, right? It's exciting when someone reaches out and goes, I saw that house and I'm reaching out because I'm looking for a house. What else do you got? Like that house that wasn't even what they wanted created the buyer to reach out and say, what else do you got? Dude, to me, that like prevents them from continuing to shop and find what they really want reach out to you now. It's like the spider web effect, right? It's like, you're not allowing anybody to get out of it because you're just owning, you're owning the space in so many different places. So, um, just want to say one more thing and I'll let him finish it. But I, I want you guys to know, number one, he's a killer. He's super young. He's a badass to me. It's ultra impressive. Um, when somebody's young and they're just doing more in the, in, in so from the 18 to 21 that he's been alive and know he's going to do some massive big stuff. Um, he already is, but you guys, What's your excuse, right? Like, are you too young? Are you too old? You don't understand technology. You tried something that didn't work. Well, wah, 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 okay? Excuses only sound good to the people who are making them. Look, dude, if you get your heart broke, you go freaking find someone else that loves, okay? Everything that you want, someone will give it to you, okay? If you used a piece of technology and it didn't work, well, dude, I watch people become billionaires every day because of technology. Oh, yeah. So I know technology is good. So let's not be dumb. Okay. Like we can't stop. By the way, if you, if you want to, if you want to not get hit in the mouth anymore, get out of the ring. All it takes is one good decision. And by the way, when have you seen me endorse a piece of technology? Never. So I'm telling you guys right now, if you want to kill it, if you're in the, if you're in the automotive or you're in real estate, just test us. Click the link below, get set up with your man. He's going to go through and show you how everything works. Literally use it, and I guarantee in 30 days, you'll be like, dude, I owe you more money. This is awesome. He'll ruin the value of money for you. And uh, what is uh, maybe one last thing you want to say to anybody watching this? As you're growing your company, you're killing it, you're blowing it, blowing it up, you love helping people, you love seeing people get fast wins, just anything you want to say to them. Yeah, I think you pretty much covered everything, but... I also want to say Shifley Auto is not just for lead generation and helping salespeople make more money. It's about the whole idea behind it too, which is being a better self-image for yourself, mm -hmm. being the best version, the true version of yourself. You know, when I die, I want to look at the person who I could have been and think that I knew that person the whole time. Mm -hmm. So we do these monthly Zoom calls that we hop on and we help people through that. We have tons of speakers on there to talk about the mind, the body, the soul, mastering those That's awesome. and really becoming the most elite version of yourself. So when somebody signs up also you obviously help mentor them yep. they get coaching calls and all that's included in that correct come on dog quit giving it all away <laughs> um guys listen i just want to tell you man it's 2024 right okay what are you gonna do you're gonna stay ahead of your competition okay 
Like my boy Patrick Bet David said, you got to learn 10 to 15 new skills in the next 12 to 18 months. That means technology. It's not just skills. It's technology. It's AI. It's staying ahead of everybody else. It's keeping your freaking blade of staying ahead of people and being sharp. You got to be sharp, man. Okay? And a lot of people aren't sharp. They're actually quite dull. If you look at their checks, you'll understand exactly who they are. This is an opportunity for you guys to increase your wealth, make more money. And obviously, this shit's so easy to use, it's stupid. So I just want to tell you, man, I, I love you. I appreciate you, dude. Watching you grow is like crazy. Watching everything grow is crazy. Every time we get together, we're on a whole new level. You're on a whole new level. Our clients are on a whole new level. By the way, this is all about winning, guys. That's why we built this channel. So if you want to plug into a winner, make sure you guys reach out to him on Instagram if you have any questions. But more importantly, dude, we got work to do. You want to generate your own leads? You want to freaking own the space? You want to kill it? You want to level up? He said there's coaching included in it. Like, dude, come on, man. This is your this is your time. So I love you guys. Click the link below. Get your success. Reach out to your man. Say, hey, dude, I saw the podcast with Andy Elliott. I took action. Had my best month last month, which is what you hear all the time. And oh, then, yeah. dude, this, the, the, the rest is history. Let's make history, guys. See you soon. Let's crush it in 2024. Hey, guys, I just want to tell you, you're the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor. Share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video. Comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon. You'll be seeing my name on posters. You could call me POTUS. I got all the voters.